Good evening, everyone. Just wait for another 30 seconds. We can start off. Good evening, everybody. I'm glad to see we have quite a few people with us here for this webinar. It gives me great pleasure to invite you to our event in this new month of Valentine's. We have a lot of love and care for our students who passed out from JD, once a JDN, always a JDN. With us this evening, we have Aditya Bharatwaj. As most of us know, he is an alumni of JD. We are delighted to welcome Aditya for this webinar. Thanks. A little, a little background about our speaker today. We have with us Aditya Bharadwaj, who is a prominent, successful personality in the fashion industry. He's a fashion enthusiast who holds a postgraduate diploma in fashion design and business management. Uh, his areas of expertise lie in fashion styling, fashion content writing, and here with us, he's agreed to share with us his beautiful experience in the fashion and marketing field. So without further ado, we welcome Mr. Aditya to take over. Thank you. Uh, good evening, everybody, and hi. Um, this is Aditya Bharadwaj here, and I am here to uh, give you guys a brief on how our industry is and uh, how we as a JDNs should go get into the industry uh, and for the ones who are actually interested in fashion. So I will uh, start uh, my presentation. Uh, I hope my screen is visible and is audible for everybody. Yes, it is. Okay, cool. Thank you for the heads up, Pratik, sir. Uh, so, yes. Uh, I would like to start off the presentation with a quote that I always believe in and uh, always follow. 
uh, fashion is the armor to survive the reality of everyday life which the quote is given by bill cunningham uh, yes uh, if you simply uh, see the reality uh, our life is nothing without colors and our life is nothing without clothes and i feel uh, clothes is one of the best invention of uh, manhood uh and i guess the fashion is just a platform you know uh to uh express our own self of clothing and that is why fashion is totally necessary uh in each of our lives in a day daily life uh we are looking at today's agenda what we'll discuss firstly i will give you my self introduction and my goals secondly i would like to share you about my journey at jd institute and thirdly uh, i will uh, take you through most memorable moments from my jd journey uh, fourthly i i would like to speak about how my industry journey started and how my career is taking path in fashion route uh, fifthly a uh, uh, role of jd in uh, my career path like how jd helped me in building my career and uh, lastly uh, uh, little tips for all the fashion enthusiasts who have joined this uh, webinar today uh, to how to you know build up your fashion uh, career as a fresher basically uh, that is the stage where we all struggle in so we will i would love, love to give few tips how to start off your fashion career we'll move ahead so i am aditya bharadwaj uh i did my post graduate diploma in uh, fashion design and business management uh from jd institute uh, during 2018 and 2020 uh this is what i did after my bachelor's of commerce uh i have done my bachelor's of commerce from a reputed college one of the reputed colleges in bangalore and then i took up post graduate diploma in fashion designing and business management from jd which was for 2 years it's a post graduation diploma course uh, currently i am working as a content and fashion marketer in glorot.com uh, it's a, a fashion startup uh, it's an e-commerce setup so yeah i am a content and fashion marketer at uh, that firm so my areas of expertise lies in fashion styling fashion photography and fashion communication i also hold diverse experience in fashion marketing and content marketing projects and my main motto of uh, you know why i entered fashion field maybe i have a, a little uh, i'm i mean i lean towards the men's fashion and i hope there's a lot of scope in india for men's fashion to come and i hope i will be able to bring uh, bring a brand for all men you know there are different types of men so i would want to uh, bring up a brand where in any any men can walk into the store and uh, get what they that they are looking for okay so i would like to take you through uh, my portfolio highlights uh, obviously i will not be able to include the complete for portfolio here in the presentation but i would like to take you through uh the best projects and the best highlights of uh the projects uh and firstly i am going to show you guys the jdada project which is a a project that everybody will work on as a jdn um and for me also uh i did this out uh, during my last semester uh during 20 uh the uh, concept the main theme of this particular uh, uh this particular 2020 years theme was undo jd ada undo 2020 so let's see what's in the store uh so my uh, main theme was uh to undo the fact of native language you know vanishing so the native language of karnataka and bangalore is kannada so uh uh you know i wanted to come up with this cultural concept wherein uh we can undo the fact of uh, native language vanishing while there are uh, so many other languages in bangalore uh, taking the dominance so i would uh, i came up with this uh, concept 
and this is the mood board wherein uh, we have picked all the all kind of kannada words the colors the wall paintings that we see throughout the bangalore the kannada flag and the name boards sign boards and the landscape uh, and the numbers uh, totally we roamed around bangalore to fetch all these and we uh, tried to create a mood board out of these things and if you see the mood board is completely vibrant and, uh, we uh, picked up uh, only the primary colors from the mood board and you can see the main colors that we have used in the color board right down there in the right down corner so these are the prints uh, we were able to develop uh, by we mean uh, it's a group project like uh, you share up you share this project with a partner so i and my partner uh, came up with this my partner was ramya she is also uh, uh, you know she is also doing good right now in fashion field and uh, we both are as partners and we developed this these particular prints in this particular project so uh, we trying to bring a mixture of kannada and english words and you know uh, the native uh, lang native language that which we uh, uh, use generally use here and along with that english which it's the actual thing now wherein it's called kanglish so we wanted to bring that in concept so that it is communicated to the non kannadiga people as well so these are the graphics that we were able to uh, bring on and the, there are few more prints so if you see we have brought the metro element the traffic element the uh, landscape and the coffee and the colors that we run through and these are the finally digitally rendered sketches for the female collection so this is how it turned out uh unfortunately we weren't able to bring the concept live on as a physical garment due to covid uh we we couldn't have a fashion show uh but then we could only complete the project by uh, digitally uh, you know dig we ended up with the di digital sketches only uh but we had a lot of thought process uh, when it comes to fashion show but unfortunately it didn't happen but it's okay these are the female uh, sketches if you see uh, the graphic prints that we generated we tried to uh, uh, put it in a form so that it you know it's, it's uniquely crafted and we we uh, had you know this high fashion in mind so that uh, you know uh, like it's, it's it was a complete complete contrast when in bringing the native uh, fluency on a high fashion so that was our basic uh, concept so these are the men's sketches if you see there's a saying swalpa adjust maadi and the metro theme is and uh, little kannada letters here and there and the brigade road junction we have converted into a theme print and this is how it it turned out to be so my second uh, part of my portfolio of my uh, project was the london styling project that which i took up wherein we went to london and we got an opportunity to uh, take up a small short term course which i'll be talking to you about in little details later but we will just look into the uh, what exactly the shoot happened how it happened there and what was the output final output for from my end ha huh, so sorry ha huh. so this this was my final look for the model uh, i will tell you how i had to uh, how how i got to style this in a final look uh, but uh, meanwhile just is just a final outlook where how the styling project turned out to be at london uh so i'll tell you the mood board process it was 
it i'll tell you in a very quick story form it was very you know funny uh, how this happened uh, we were given a task to uh, create a mood board within 20 minutes and they even gave us the idea how to do it it it, it was not an idea it was compulsory the same way to, to do it they asked us to you know create the mood board out of the six best pictures that we currently had in our phones at that particular point of time so they asked us to like we were given the uh, complete uh, freedom to choose any kind of image that exists in our gallery so at that particular point of time i felt these are the six best pictures uh, that which uh, you know uh, Uh, which light by which light in my gallery and those were the best pictures that i felt and uh, if you see the first picture was priyanka chopra's picture she is wearing a blingy top and a long skirt a uh, second picture is related to my travel so i travel a lot and a uh, second picture from one of the lakes in bangalore third picture is is uh, again from my traveling uh, album so it was a a very nice golden heart shot panorama shot in australia so if you see there are a lot of colors uh, played in it uh, different shades of blue and gold and yellow has been you know neatly uh, you know depicted in that picture so i picked that picture and fourth picture is also from traveling uh, it's it's a city in you know united kingdom from in england it's a city called york and uh, in that picture it's the way the life lifestyle and uh, uh, the nature is completely uh, depicted uh, you know like there are so many elements that speak in that picture so i picked up that and uh, fifth picture is a randomly shot picture at pondicherry uh, wherein it's, it's a, uh, from a sunday flea market wherein the hand handkerchiefs wherein uh, you know uh, displayed there in such a form that it looked like a flower if you see in from above so and it had various colors and various prints so that is one of my fondest picture and sixth picture is uh, from my personal album it's it's from one of the festivals of karnataka it's called navratri bombe habba so uh, those are one of the oldest dolls at my place that i have so i picked up that so these were the six best pictures Uh, that i had in my phone and we created a mood board out of it and then we moved on to the uh, process, next process that style that is styling so as you see uh, in my mood board i picked up few elements few colors uh, that and the uh, sky shades that which is blue and the skirt part i wanted to experiment in skirts and you know and the sparkles so if you see there are a lot of sparkling uh, effects in this mood board so i in tried to include all those elements uh, in the styling wherein if you see there is a proper structural sparkling uh, headgear and a blue uh, long length jacket floral top and a very vibrant and very quirky uh, skirt it was a not an uh, it was not a symmetrical skirt it was a slit a slit skirt so uh, it it turned out to be really good and uh, we, i had to use a uh, red shades so that it it gives a proper contrast look to the to the whole uh, this thing and uh, i used the long long uh, ear earrings which you know made the look very perfect so yeah uh, i used several other accessories for the shoot so that shoot looks good uh, and the color scheme that i followed is right there here it's a tetradic color scheme wherein you uh, pick different colors from different uh, color origins and then bring it into the form so it, this is the color scheme that i followed and these are the final output images this this is little close up looks that i shot and yeah finally we got the recognition from from one of the very reputed colleges uh, at uh, in the world fashion colleges in the world 
uh, that was London College of Fashion. We uh, we were awarded the certificate of fashion media styling course, and we have in picture uh, Nilesh sir with us, Srishti ma'am, and her sir from Delhi, and a few faculties and the principal from London College of Fashion in the frame, and she is awarding me the uh, certificate. So I am gonna show you the last one of the uh, major, an another portion from my portfolio. It's the kids room furnishings that we brought up for a display at one, one of the displays at JD Institute. So this was the client board. We picked two clients and those were kids and we had to set up their room. So, and uh, you know, we tried to bring up a unisex room and wherein uh, you know, uh, the room fits for both of the people. And we tried to inculcate their methodology, the, uh, the things they like, the, the things they uh, usually play with, the, the books, the kind of books that they read. So we tried to include uh, their story uh, into the elements that we are going to create for them. So this was the client board. And when we got to know uh, Toy Story was their favorite cartoon. So we picked up this cartoon as a storyboard for the complete, uh, uh, you know, complete furnishings. So we picked up Toy Story 2 and we picked up few uh, elements from that uh, series so that, you know, uh, we try to build designs out of these uh, story elements. So these were the final uh, uh, plain sketches that we created for the products. So uh, that was a we we created the whole uh, basic uh, room furnishings that which is blanket, the bed sheets, pillow cars, cushion cars, the curtains, the wall hangings, and the play rugs. So these are the final products that we could think of. And here's our product display. So this was our final product display. Um, so we have created. We have created the whole setup here. So that which is uh, starting from the bed, the cushion cars, the pillow cars, the blanket, bed sheets, the rug, the curtains, the wall uh, hanging, and the uh, stuffed toy holder organizer, basically. So all these were created by us, you know, picking up the uh, elements that from which we had a story for, that which is to Toy Story Part 2. So we try to create a unisex uh, room wherein it includes uh, all that all the colors that you know fits for both. Like if a girl can also uh, use the room and a guy or uh, the small boy also can uh, use the room. So yeah, this was pretty much another project that we worked on in JD Institute. And yeah, here are uh, closer looks to the products. This is how it turned out to be. Um, I would like to also take you through little moments from uh, my JD journey. So let's have a look. Yes, uh, these are the five pictures that came to my mind when when I thought of uh, JD journey. So uh, the first picture uh, pick is from the graduation ceremony that we recently had in 2020 after we passed out. Second image is uh, from the London trip that we went to. So we are standing in front of the big uh, uh, London eye wheel, uh, but the London eye wheel is not visible here. But yeah, that was one of the best pictures that we took in the uh, trip. And third picture is again me receiving a certificate from, uh, uh, you know, Nilesh sir at my graduation ceremony. Fourth picture is again from London trip, which is uh, we are standing in right in front of the gigantic, uh, the London Bridge. And fifth picture is uh, from the Victoria Albert Museum, uh, which is one of the very best museums for all the art lovers and all the fashion lovers. Uh, if you ever get an opportunity to visit Victoria and Albert Museum in London, please do. Like uh, if you are real, Really a fashion enthusiast, you will take the whole day to cover just the fashion uh, part, wherein it, it, it has a lot of historical fashion display, you will be lost. Trust me, I'm telling you this. So if you ever find an opportunity, 
like apart from the JD, like JD people will take you if you, uh, uh, you know, are interested, please go along with them. But if not, whenever you visit London, please take one or two days to visit this Victoria Albert Museum. It's it's not just about fashion. You have a lot of things related to history, art, culture, and a lot of stuff. But uh, uh, as a fashion lover, you must visit Victoria and Albert Museum. Uh, it will take up the whole day, uh, but then it's worth spending the whole day there. So we have a lot of contribution from India as well in the museum. Uh, you can see a lot of things from India as well. Indian contribution is also there. Uh, you must go there and check it out by yourself. Then you will get to know what it's worth of. Okay, so moving on, um, I would like to highlight uh, points, a few points about JD, how it helped me, you know, sharpening my career. Uh, firstly, they have advanced and precise academic structure. Uh, by academic structure, I mean the kind of portions that they cover, the kind of uh, uh, subjects, the knowledge that they cover is completely apt and completely precise you know, you can be from any background and if you want to start off in fashion, you can just come uh, have a look at their courses. Uh, you can take up any courses that, uh, you know, you are comfortable with and they will uh, make you learn, start, you know, from the scratch. Uh, we have highly knowledge and skilled faculty, uh, which is really very appreciable and they are very supportive in all the terms. Uh, this, the management is also very encouraging and supporting. They uh, give us a lo lot of support in terms of display, in terms of assignments, in terms of <clears throat> everything that they will keep keep you guiding through. Uh, when I mean assignments, the, de the projects are very detailed and, uh, you know, very, uh, very neatly, uh, you know, assigned to you. Like you, you just cannot do it. Uh, you know, simply just for the sake of doing it, you ha have to have a lot of research in it. And that's when you learn and that's when you explore. And uh, that's when you actually, you know, get hold of certain things that you might not be aware, aware of while learning things theoretically. Uh, uh, the professional guidance is there throughout from the faculty and the management, which is again, the major part, uh, you know, in the career. And obviously the placement offers. Uh, you need not, you know, go go back, uh, pass out from the institute, and then look for j jobs and job portals. If you are active in uh, the placement forums here in JD Institute, you will be able to, uh, you know, uh, be placed in any of the companies and kind of roles that you are looking into already. So please be active in placement forums. That is what I'm uh, uh, here to say. Like you have to be active in placement for forums. You never know which opportunity clicks for you and you can, you know, just have it with you. And uh, the additional part is the JD imagination journey. Um, if you have, uh, if it fits your finance, please take up this trip. Uh, it's not just it's not just a fun trip. It's 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 about learning. It's up. It's about exploring. You will get to know a lot of things when you take up this trip. It's it's about 20, 25 days trip, and you you learn like each step you keep in London. You see something. You learn something out of it. Uh, you might go to London on your own some other day, but uh, when you go with a bunch of people who are who have who have the similar interests like you, like in fashion, uh, you will be able to learn and explore a lot of things. Uh, but when you go alone, uh, you know, on a separate day, uh, you won't be able to go with such kind of bunch of people and your learning would be a little lesser when compared to, you know, uh, this trip. So uh, London and Paris, it's a combined trip. Uh, we were not fortunate enough to go to Paris due to some uh, flight issues, but uh, we went to London definitely, and that's where we did our short-term course in uh, media styling uh, from London College of Fashion. Uh, uh, the uh, you know it was, it was just a short term, but it was completely uh, neatly you know planned course for you. So it it was it it you know it really adds on to your portfolio and adds on to your resume. 
and uh, when i say london and paris they those are the fashion capitals of the world and you know how fashion runs uh, you know in in such cities so people walk fashion there talk fashion there sit fashion there so that's how it is so and you have to go check out the high end brand stores how high end uh, uh, you know streets or shopping streets oxford street which is uh, one of the Asia, europe's busiest shopping streets so you will have a lot of things to learn just by looking at things at london so i highly recommend this trip and uh, and it's it's not just an educational trip it will be a fun too you will be uh, having a proper uh, you know uh, uh, you will be having a proper fun trip as well you you will be taken to such places just for refreshments and all of lot of stuffs so uh, yeah if you are fortunate enough please take up this trip um and let me speak a little things of uh, my career here so i got an internship opportunity from jd platform of uh, you know the placement forum itself uh, in if the first internship that i did was for uh, sorry the first internship that i did was for design and brand communication uh, for an e-commerce startup called my study buddy uh, in november 2020 this was opportunity given by jd placement forum uh, nextly i started interning as fashion merchandiser and category management uh, team uh, for, i started interning for that team in glorot.com during uh, december to march 2021 um and here's the story that uh, i i would like to share it, say, share with you there were uh, nearly 35 to 40 interns during the time i joined glorot uh, uh the 40 interns were from throughout india basically uh and those all are pass out students from nift and uh, jd and as well as a few other reputed fashion institutes of india uh trust me when i say you this out of 40 interns they hired only five interns rest they fired all the other interns uh fire is an harsh word but that's how our industry runs here uh so uh i was very uh, fortunate enough and uh i was one of the top five students a uh, top five interns and i i was placed permanently in the company so uh, and there were two other jd students along with me who got placed in the same companies the same time i got placed so i am very happy that three of three out of five students was from jd who got placed in a, a startup company in a, a very uh, you know a fast paced running startup company called growth so yeah so this is how the industry is we need to be ready for the crucial crucial uh, uh, uh stages in our career and we we need to be prepared for ev thing but as as well as settling down in the same career like in the same field uh, you know it takes a lot of effort so you must be prepared to put in a lot of efforts uh i started my full full time position here uh after interning in uh, the same company as a graphic designer in march 2021 and then i got promoted to content and fashion marketer position uh, position in august 2021 so this this was my graph i started interning in that company and i got placed in my, uh after few months and then i started as a graphic designer and then got i again got promoted into uh, content and fashion marketer position in august um and recently i have won uh, the best employee of the month award two times in company uh, in october 2021 and december 2021 21 respectively yeah so here we come to the last part of my presentation that is a little tips and career advice that i would like to give across to all the people out here so i have 10 uh, points that i would like uh, you guys to you know uh, take things seriously uh, uh, regarding these 10 points and uh, trust me these 10 points will help you and these are the 10 points that i tried to follow and i mean at least uh, seven out of these 10 things i followed and
uh, I were able to gain little success as of now. So, um, uh, firstly, the portfolio part. Uh, it should be built very strongly. Your projects have to speak and it, it should be neatly organized and intact with proper details. Like uh, you cannot just take the whole lot of your work and just dump in your portfolio. No, that is not how it is done. It should be precise. It should be cleanly organized and you know it should be separately organized in terms of projects. Uh, so uh, you need to, you know, even if you, if you haven't kept the things ready, you need to rebuild the things while you build the portfolio. Say you have created a design of a thing without, you know, certain proper uh, structure behind it, like the process. You have to rebuild the process it, process for it and then add it. So you, you have to take uh, through the process, like the complete process of the design concept before you show the final output, you know? So that's how you build the projects and portfolio. So you, you need to uh, uh, build, like you have to, again, rework on certain things if you haven't done it properly. So just make sure that your portfolio game is really strong when you are about to be, uh, you know, uh, graduating from your own courses. So secondly, uh, work on as many as internships possible while you are pursuing studies. Uh, now, I am not giving a wrong idea to you guys that to concentrate on internships. I am only telling you guys to concentrate on internships as well as your study course. Uh, you know, doing internships along with the study gives you a lot of exposure. Even beforehand, you pass out as students. So if you have at least two, three internships in your hand, like that completed internship certificates, if you have in your hand before, uh, you know, graduating, that would be really helpful for you guys to find an immediate uh, full-time position. So the, I am telling this for the ones who's actually looking out for uh, jobs in fashion field. So, and thirdly, you should have clarity on what subjects to grow onto and you must narrow down your choices. Basically, there's a lot of segments in fashion, right? Like fashion draping, fashion uh, styling, fashion design, business development, the visual merchandising part of it, the technical part of it, the retail part of it. So, but you must be really very clear about what subjects that interests you basically, and what subjects you need to um, make it is like, a, uh, how do I put it for you? So uh, those those areas of interest should be your proper uh, skill to contact. So uh, you need to narrow down your choices. You cannot like you just cannot pass out and say I can do any job related to fashion. No, you cannot. Somebody will be interested and uh, very strong in fa garment construction, while somebody is very good at the. Uh, uh, fashion styling part, somebody will be very good at marketing part. So you need to narrow down your choices and that will, that will make a lot more easier for you to look for jobs. And uh, while you are at a job uh, uh, with the in interest that you like, you will enjoy the job. Otherwise you'll be really very prejudiced. Uh, it's okay to learn things, but uh, after a certain time, you will feel pressure, pressurized and you should be very sure that if you are doing something, you should do it, do it right. That's it. Uh, so do not neglect any opportunity that comes your way. Uh, initially, uh, building your career in fashion is a little difficult. Uh, industry is like that because uh, in the, in, you just step out of your, uh, the institute as passing, passing out students and they ask your work to speak. So basically your talents and skill plays a lot of major role in your uh, uh, career and fashion career. So initially there will be a lot of struggle. So just don't mind any opportunity. Uh, the monetary com compensation in initial stages will be little less, but uh, it, it totally depends again. Uh, so it's, it's again, uh, depends on your talent. So the more the talented that you are and more highly skilled you are in your own areas of expertise, you will go a long way. Uh,
have a proper LinkedIn profile built for yourselves. Uh, your LinkedIn profile should contain. Sorry, huh? Your LinkedIn profile should contain a lot. You you must have to build your LinkedIn uh, profile uh, from the start. So if you do not have a LinkedIn profile already, please do have a LinkedIn profile uh, from right now and then start filling out details in it and start building your link, uh, LinkedIn profile. Start start networking and stay active throughout. It's This is not a platform like Facebook or Instagram or Twitter wherein you just tweet things you like, like to posts of your friends or, uh, you know, uh, comment on their pictures. No, this is not how it is. It's a very professional platform. You're sharing your professional uh, helps and requirements and displaying your professional achievements. So this is, you must stay as actively as possible uh, on LinkedIn and you should have a profile built very strongly. Uh, but make sure that you have have it as soon as possible if you don't have already. And uh, I will give you this uh, very quick pro tip uh, before, uh, like say, if you are uh, be about to be graduated next year from JD, like uh, you are already doing your course and you'll be up about to be graduated next year, uh, keep a target of building at least 500 network connections in the fashion field before you step out of this, uh, you know, uh, institute so that, uh, immediately after stepping out of the institute with at least minimum 500 connections, you will end up with a proper proper job. Um, make sure your work speaks for your career. Like as I said earlier, you, your work, your skills, your pro portfolio should speak for you more than you speak for yourself. Uh, apply jobs on various job portals. You never know which one kicks. Trust me, if, if you cannot blindly below, uh, you know, believe in certain job portals and you think you apply a job on this job portal and that's it, you're done. Like you will be able to, uh, the recruiters will contact you back and then you will give an interview and then you'll be said, no, that is how it not works. That, that, that is not how it works. So basically you have to apply a lot of jobs and a lot of uh, platforms. Research on uh, uh, platforms that you know, actually works for you. Uh, uh, for a passing out student, uh, I would suggest intern Shala, LinkedIn, and sometimes Times Job. Uh, all these kind of job portals work uh, for, uh, you know, initially if the freshers I'm talking about. Uh, so you must research, like it depends, varies from region to region, which job portals works like best for uh, each person. And Again, fashion field, may you have, uh, uh, you know, various uh, portals posting up different job opportunities across India, which could be hybrid model, which could be, uh, uh, you know, remotely working place. And, you know, if you are ready to move into from cities to cities, there'll be a lot of opportunities. So, yeah, so try to up, start uh, applying in various job portals and then you will be able to uh, find uh, answers very quickly in terms of jobs and keep your portfolio updated all the time so when you step into the industry and you work in a company and then you have a lot of design work there and you lot of have a pro different projects in those companies keep your portfolio updated with the same like again when you are trying to shift from one company to another so if you just show up your college work it won't add anything extra to it. Like where if you are trying to shift jobs for more higher uh, monetary compensation and more bigger opportunities, you will have to keep your portfolio intact with the recent projects that you have worked on. And uh, it only shows the best upgrade of yourself and your work uh, that has to be done from regular, uh, you know, it has to be done on a regular intervals. So keep this on mind. Um, you know, stick on to certain skills. Like if you're very good in Adobe Photoshop, Illustrator, stick on to it, work on, work on it. And, you know, uh, try exploring different things on those, uh, uh, you know, softwares and then master it, master it basically. So that's how it will bring fruits to you. So if you're uh, in, interested in design, make sure that you uh, uh, are a master of all the softwares that people work on. 
and if you are uh, interested in styling or uh, marketing field uh, you know improvise all those styling and uh, uh, marketing skills and then you will you know do wonders so like stick on to certain skills and keep improvising them is what i tell uh, and lastly uh, never say no to additional courses short term courses while you are at work so after passing out from jd uh, you will be at work and if any tiniest of the tiniest short term course that you come across it may be for a week it may be for a two week course uh it may be just a seminar it, it may be just a workshop kind of a thing uh keep uh, pursuing all of them uh it will definitely bring a lot of value to your portfolio and your resume and it you know it 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 holds up your work so and they'll be learning with each thing that you do and do not neglect those short term courses Th those will add a lot of worth while you have already completed a long term course from jd so these are the few things you know you should keep in mind as a beginner as a fresher when you are about to step into the fashion, never end you know never ending fashion industry so never stopping also so this industry is never going to stop so and when you are about to enter you will you will have you know you you will you will have a very bird eye view uh of how the industry is and how the industry works so when you get into the industry you will get to know how industry works so uh, these are the few things that you initially has to keep your mind uh, keep in your mind while you are about to enter so yeah this is it from my end and thank you for everybody for my time and uh, if you have any queries you can contact me at aditya bharadwaj 0516@gmail.com and you can contact me on linkedin as well uh, at the rate of aditya bharadwaj and you can go have a look on my works and in be hands again at the rate of aditya bharadwaj thank you thank you aditya it was really enlightening and we're proud to see that one of our student has made it big in the fashion industry and you're here to guide our students it was beautiful uh, the right okay. kind of support got from jd the management and students like you will be an inspiration for all uh, we have few questions we will um, it would be great if you could help us with that the yes. first one is from uh, rishab he's like um, how was your internship experience and um, how did it help you the internship how did it help you acquire a full time job profile okay uh, like i said internship internships are you know very initial stage of your job wherein you get to learn a lot of things so as an intern they will put you in a position wherein you have to do all kind of jobs and you know they will test you while you are doing certain things like all all kind of assignments or all kind of uh, job that they assign you so while you are interning you will like you will be in such a position that you somehow have to do it you have somehow have to deal with it and that's when you learn when you are at the pressure at the same time you you have got an opportunity to learn so that's when you do it and that's when you can prove yourself in terms of your work so uh, that's how it helped me as well uh, in my internships so uh, that's why uh, it helped me to uh, you know go into a full time position through my internship so yeah internships uh, uh, i would also like to suggest that if uh, somebody is uh, posted a internship offer uh, that which says which has an uh, you know which will lead you to a full time position you must take that internship offer and you uh, i would like to you know i would like you guys to prove yourselves there thank you aditya The next question is uh, related to content marketing. Uh, yes. The student wants to know how has it, how is it related to the fashion industry or the fashion designing, and what kind of career graph can we look at if we want to get into uh, content marketing as a full time career? 
Okay, so content, uh, I, and I understood the uh, base of this question uh, that student might doubt that how content and fashion is uh, related like when it is two different things. But you know, uh, it definitely goes hand in hand when it comes to marketing. So that's when, that's when we call it content fashion marketing. Uh, uh, if you have the flair for writing, if you have that communication uh, point of view in you, so, uh, you know, the way you communicate products lies fashion there. Uh, you know, the way you take the products to the general audience, that's where you uh, you have your work. So that's where you can communicate fashion in your own terms to a uh, general audience so that it looks, you know, it, it reach, reaches out to people the way it is supposed to. So content and fashion that way goes hand in hand. And you have a lot of different things uh, related to fashion and content. And a lot of companies that are hiring basically for content marketing and fashion, especially right now, this is the peak stage wherein content marketing is at its peak. So I would like, I would love to suggest if you have, have a, a flair in writing, please do uh, consider content marketing field. Would you like to just share a little bit about your, about your, uh, your, your example with the content marketing? Okay, so content marketing, basically, um, I have worked on a lot of projects with related to uh, uh, product marketing. Uh, which is, you know, uh, how you uh, display uh, those con uh, products in content form and short video forms, crisp, crisp form, like it has to, uh, in, in a 30 seconds video, how best uh, you can show the product, its USP and uh, everything related. You need to script, script up the whole video concept. And that's when you bring it, uh, bring a life into that video. So some such videos cannot be simply shot and simply posted it online. And that's, that will, I mean, anybody can do it, but when you have a proper content script to it, uh, that video has, will have a lot of weightage. And secondly, the, uh, if a uh, second form of content for fashion would be the push notifications that every app you, you, you will receive a lot of push notifications. So there'll be a, uh, uh, there will be job for you to creatively write those push notifications for fashion products. And thirdly, um, again, social media marketing for your products, for your brand. If, if, if you get an opportunity for content marketing for a fashion brand, then that's completely, you know, uh, proper. It will go hand in hand. That's what I meant. So, uh, that's when you learn a lot about uh, content related to fashion, hands on hand, hands. So, yeah. Thank you, Aditya. The fact that you explained about how the management at JD, the mentors at JD have guided you through every uh, step, have helped you mold and become a better fashion designer is seen. We can see the confidence you're exuding here. We're very proud that you've been able to share such insightful thoughts with all our students and faculty. It was great having you. We obviously hope that we continue with the collaboration. Uh, thank you very much for this beautiful experience and God bless you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for this opportunity, basically. Uh, I, it was my lovely experience to come back and you know contribute little bits of my pieces in back to the institute that you know uh, gave me a lot of things and a lot of learning experience thank you thank you for this wonderful opportunity and it was great spending uh, and hard this uh, evening with you guys thank you Aditya thank you to the 3C group thank you to all the people who put in a lot of time and effort to make this beautiful seminar um, informative and worth our time Thank you, everybody. Till we meet again, have a great day.